Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Final Fantasy X, one of my favorite JRPGs and probably my favorite Final Fantasy. Released originally for the PlayStation 2 in July 2001, it'll be 20 years old this day. A fine reason to make this my first big project on YouTube. So, let's get started. Uh, the first choice we have to make here is a sphere grid. This is basically how your character develops. And to be honest, I've never actually finished the game with a standard grid. I got to a certain boss, gave up for almost a year, picked up the game again, restarted, because that's what you do if you take a break for a year, and used the expert sphere grid ever since. Beat the game on the expert sphere grid, and every further playthrough I've done is with the expert sphere grid. So to uh, make things a little bit fresh for myself, I'm going with the standard sphere grid for once. Yes, I'm sure. Now the music in this game, I think, is phenomenal and both of these versions are a bliss to listen to. I will be picking the original version for nostalgic reasons. Now, without further blah blah blah, let's uh, jump into the story of Final Fantasy X. And we are in control in the beautiful city of Xanarkand. Gonna take this brief moment of control to say that I'm gonna keep my commentary to a minimum during cutscenes so I don't spoil the story and you don't have to listen to me yabble on while you're trying to watch the cutscenes. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jet, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. 
Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, 10 years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Make way, make way! Coming through, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. So the city seemed to have been under attack of a big giant water sphere, destroyed the stadium, people are panicking, let's investigate what's going on shall we?
It begins. What? Don't cry. This way. Look. <gasps> we called it sin. ones don't matter we cut through okay we've got our first taste of combat this battle system is a bit different from other final fantasies well other final fantasies have an active time battle system where the enemies can attack you while you're picking items or picking attacks this is a conditional turn-based system where enemies just wait until you've done your turn which provides different kind of strategies and makes you think rather than Act. The top right, you can see a list of which enemy and which ally's turn it is. And based on that, you can hopefully destroy an enemy before it gets a chance to attack, or slow them down, or speed up allies. But like Oren says, these ones don't matter, we'll just cut through. Just attack the ones in front. And this is our first boss battle and the tutorial for overdrives. Underneath the character's name, hit points and mana points you see a bar. If that fills up you can use like a special move. A 
but this boss actually can kill us. It's uh, only attack Demi is gravity based. That means it does a proportion of our current hit points. I think one fourth, which means it'll just never be able to kill us. And that did it. On to our first safe sphere. These are used to save your game, obviously, and they also replenish all your hit points. Onwards! What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here! We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man! Just cut through these enemies. Once Oren gives the prompt, we can attack the oil tanker because the enemies will just respawn. Should only take a couple of hits, probably one more. This is it. This is your story. It all begins here. 
Hey. Hey. My old man? I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream, a dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside me so I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Anybody there? Aaron! Hey! Okay, so we got sucked up by that big monster thingy called Sin that was attacking the city. So let's check out where we are. Now, there is a group of people in this game calling themselves the El Bed, and they have their own language. And you can find dictionaries throughout the game translating that language letter by letter. It's basically a letter swap language, so an A turns into an E, or a K turns into a B. But because I've completed this game before, and I found all the dictionaries before, I am just going to import all of the dictionaries so we can read the subtitles and what they say from the very start. And there we go. We have compiled the entire dictionary and we can understand what they will be saying to us from the very beginning. Some potions. And let's move further into the temple. Or what's left of the temple, really. As we know from every other RPG, it's best to get to dead ends first and get all the treasure. And we fall into the water. Just our luck.
There we go, our first underwater battle. Just a hack and slash, because we don't have any other skills yet. And here's our first underwater boss. And again, don't worry about the damage he deals. It might look a lot, but it's again gravity based, it just does 50% of our current health. made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Yeah, we barely escaped that one. Okay, let's head deeper into the temple. Alright, I think that'll conclude our first part. We've uh, got kicked out of Xanarkin somehow, sucked into some weird monster called Sin, arrived at this abandoned temple, and next time we'll see if we can make fire and uh, explore the temple further. I hope you enjoy watching this, and I hope I can uh, complete this new project on YouTube. Hope to see you in the next part. Thank you for watching.